This trip to Honduras is a great privilege and an opportunity uh, to be on this project. It's definitely made an impact on my life and will impact my life as I go back, as I t walk with God. Uh, no doubt about it, the Honduras people, they're a happy people, they're hardworking people, they're hospitable, and most of all, they're humble, so gracious and thankful. The thing I want to say the most is the, the relationships were emphasized from the start of the trip to the end of the trip. Those relationships are important, but it's all with an end goal in mind. And it just thrilled my heart to see everything pointing to Jesus Christ, the living water, so that all of us, gringo, American, whatever you want to say, and the Honduras people, whether it's the ones that are on the impact team or the ones from the village, it was all about Jesus and we got to watch him work. So it was what a, what a blessing it was. And it's, I've been on a lot of mission trips in my life and uh, they're always good. And you kind of always go back with a high, but this one will definitely leave a strong impact in my heart and life because God's used it in many ways. And I look forward to how he's gonna use it over the upcoming years. Yeah, this mission uh, that we did in Honduras was uh, super impactful, not only to the community that we served of uh, the village in Honduras, we were able to connect and uh, plant seeds that hopefully will take root and, uh, and spread the gospel, uh, but also the seed that was planted in the hearts of us that, that uh, they came and did this mission. Um, I think it's something that we'll be able to take back home and be able to plant seeds in, in other men. Um, in our community um, and really hopefully see those take root and, uh, and grow um, as we look at discipling men uh, in our community. And um, so I'm just very thankful to be on this trip. Um, I know it's changed my whole perspective um, on my faith and then just, uh, just a humbling experience. I feel challenged. <laughs> I feel like I'm growing. I feel blessed. It's not always a good feeling. It's not always a good feeling. <laughs> I think it's counterintuitive to our thinking um, to say that we're just like them, but similar to them not wanting to be here and, and thinking that the answer is somehow for them in America or, or, or in the cities. Um, I think for us as a, uh, Americans, we're always kind of looking for the answer and the next thing. If I just had this, then I'd be happy. You know, if I just met this person or made this much money, and that's that's huge. Because at the end of the day, that means that me and and my compañeros are, you know, we're the same, just in different places. It's definitely opened my eyes to the similarities of the hearts of men uh, beyond borders, um, beyond social structures, beyond. You know, any demographic you could think of. People are people, kids are kids, and I'm looking forward to doing it again and experiencing it again. And I personally hope that I can keep everything that I've learned and felt in my heart for years to come. And uh, just very thankful for the experience.